person how are you doing my name is miss kenya i make videos regarding interior decor i make videos regarding lifestyle and once in a while i make videos regarding recipes so if you are new you might consider subscribing because this channel is loaded with great content so today let us talk about that wall that is behind your couch that empty wall that is behind your couch that boring wall that is behind your couch that blank wall that is behind your couch so you have decorated your whole house the whole living room appears well put together you have chosen the colors for your room you have bought the right furniture for your room but you don't know what to do with that one watch this video till the end because it's loaded with tips it's loaded with information that will help you decorate that wall and might even help you in the future or help a friend or two so the first thing that you need to do is pull that couch away from the wall pull it away from the wall you should never put a couch against a wall because if you do so, your house will appear cluttered, disorganized. You know, like <laughs> it's gaping for air. But if you leave with some space, even if it's two inches, three inches, trust you me, it will make a difference. Your house will appear more well put together. It will appear more organized and it, it will appear thoughtful hmm? it will appear like a house of someone who took their time to organize and plan for that house okay so pull that couch away from the wall have you done that have you done that we are waiting for you to pull that couch away from the wall thank you now that you have pulled that couch away from the wall let us decorate that wall so the number one thing that you can do that is cheap that let me use affordable here that is affordable and that will make a difference it will make a significant difference is getting a wallpaper for that wall you can get a wallpaper that suits the theme colors of your house or a wallpaper that suits the your taste and I love wallpapers of nowadays because they are renter friendly. You can carry them with you if you intend to move away from that house. Number two thing that you can do is getting hanging shelves. Get those hanging shelves. Hanging shelves are easy to install. They are beautiful. They don't need a lot of money to do that. They are affordable and they, they come with so many advantages you can use them for your deco pieces you can use them for plants you know place those botanic plants on those hanging shelves and trust you me that will make a great great difference because one you can never go wrong with plants plants give life to a room and another thing i love about hanging shelves is that you can use them for extra storage you can store your extra throw pillows there you can store your extra throw blankets there and you can use them for your decor pieces that is hanging shelves for you another thing that you can do is getting shelves and of course the shelves has to be tall enough they have to be taller than the couch of course and i would consider a shelf that is tall tall just so tall and you can get a wide a wide shelf or you can get two shelves two small not so wide shelves separated at the center by a nut or a mirror and that will be beautiful and just like the hanging shelves they will act as extra storage you can place your books there you can use them for your deco pieces you can you there is so much that you can do with the shelves so it will be beautiful and at the same time it will be functional for you another thing that you can do is getting a mirror getting a mirror and trust you me mirrors are beautiful mirrors are they are so helpful even on themselves i uh, mirrors themselves are an 
all art they are pieces of art and i have done a whole video regarding mirror so make sure you check that video out i will put the link on the description box below you can get a small mirror not so small because it has to be significant of significant size it has to make a difference or you can get a big mirror that is actually the size of that couch yes you can do that and the last thing that you can do with that bare wall is getting a triptych getting a triptych what is a triptych a triptych is a piece of art that is divided into three it can be the same photo divided into three the same animal divided into three just basically a art that is divided into three and these pieces of art are beautiful they are appearing to the you know they are the kind of things that you want to keep looking at so you can get a triptych and sorry i said that that was the last thing but there is another thing you can use that wall as your gallery wall how beautiful you can place your family photos there you can place your favorite pieces of art there you can use your your photo frames there but of course in an organized manner as i'm going to show you in these photos that i'm going to be putting in this video so there is so much that you can do with a bare wall that is behind your couch don't let that wall be boring if your wall is against a window I said that is okay but again don't don't let it lie against the window or against the wall put it a little bit even a few inches I said a few inches will make a difference so if you are where wall is bare please do something about that wall you can even paint it another thing that I forgot is you can paint it you can you can paint it on you a different color or even paint something on it but don't let it be too extra don't let it water down the other elements of the room everything has to be subtle everything has to look full put down to together everything has to be I, I, I am looking for a, for a word in this but don't overdo it don't overdo it don't overdo it there is so much that you can do with that wall so please don't let that wall be boring don't let that wall be bare don't let it be empty there is so much like an empty like a wallpaper is affordable hanging shelves are affordable too art gallery making it an art gallery that is affordable too getting shelves that is affordable so don't let it be bare don't let it be so dull do something about it. So that is it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video till this point. I am grateful. Thank you for the continued support. Make sure you continue watching my videos for more decor tips because I am promising you great, great content is on the way. As you can see, I'm going out of my way to learn and share the tips with you. So make sure you watch all my videos. If you have not watched the other videos that I've made about deco, make sure you go there and watch. I have so much, like, I have videos that tell you about where you can get things at affordable prices or cheaply. I have videos that tell you how you can organize your living room. So make sure you watch those videos. So from me today is bye. Let me see you on my next video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Like it, like it, like it, like it. Like this video. Comment on the comment section below telling me about your views, about the video. Or even giving me ideas about what you can do with a bare wall. Another person might read the comment and be helped. So that is it from me today. Have a nice day if you are watching it during daytime. Have a lovely night if you are watching it during the night. Bye. I love you.